Hello and welcome to my channel, Hummingbird Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a pick a card for you guys about what are they thinking? What are they thinking of you? What are they thinking in general? Um, but mostly I feel like I was called to um, let you know what they are thinking of you. And are you guys meant to be together? Whether this is a romantic relationship, uh, a friendship, a strong friendship, or a family member, you know, I'll leave that up to you. Just think about the person that you want to know what they're, what's on their mind about you and go ahead and pick a pile with your intuition. Um, pile one, we have clear quartz. Pile two, we have, um, we have turquoise. Pile three, we have smoky quartz. And pile four, we have amethyst. Um, also, I did songs for each of your readings. Let me grab that real quick. So with pile one, you can also pick a song as well. For pile one, we have the song title, In This Shirt. Pile two, I Am a Wreck. Pile three, Riverside. And pile four, Giants. So I will post the songs and their artists in the link below with the, each pile um, timestamp. And um, I'll also post the songs as well. So you can listen to the songs before you pick, or you can pick based on your intuition or the stone. So lots of options here, you know, if you're struggling to pick a pile. You know, some people like to listen to music to, when they really get into their intuition. Um, stones are nice as well and um, you know just in picking an image so just use your intuition if the pile doesn't resonate for you you know go with that that second um, card there's a lot of different messages here none of them are this quite the same okay so go ahead and take your time while choosing your pile and I'll see you guys in your reading hello pile one and welcome to your reading so I've gone ahead and picked your piles for you. And um, so we're gonna start with this Lover's Oracle here. So the card is, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, so with your person that you're thinking about, and wanting to know what they're thinking, their emotions are running high and they have distorted their perception of your relationship. Um, so what this card is saying that it's distorted their perception of your relationship to the point where they're, they may be holding resentment to you at this time, okay? So let's get a little bit more about your person here. So we have the Chakra Oracle card here. And the word for you is dissipating. And this is related to the third chakra or the solar plexus. Dissipating is about being more of a a sayer instead of a doer. So this person may make a lot of plans, have a lot of amazing ideas about things, may talk about the future a lot and what that may look like with you. Um, but they're not a follow, they don't follow through. So with dissipating, you know, she's watching television and the, the, the little canary is talking to her about this vision of things to come in her life, you know, but it's just a vision. It never really happens. Nothing ever is manifested in this, with this energy here. And then next we have ignition and fire. 
So I see this person has a lot of passion toward you, a lot of passion toward life, but the problem is the ignition. Getting things started, I find is difficult for this person. Perhaps in your relationship or the things that are involved with this person in general with their energy. So let's get more on the tarot for your person. We have the Knight of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so with this combination and this energy here, I'm feeling like this person has a lot of energy. They move quickly through things. Um, they tend toward intellectual pursuits, but are not good at expressing themselves emotionally. Um, they plan and talk a lot about the future and what that would look like, but here it's just a dream. It's a dream and fantasy. They don't really, they haven't really been able to manifest things solidly in reality. Um, if they could just manifest and bring this into reality and things into reality, um, you, they might have, you know, a, a strong future and abundance from their dreams. But this is, it's still a dream. There's still a lot of dreams going on. Um, they have brilliant ideas and they, they are good at overcoming obstacles here. And here it's about making choices with the Seven of Cups as well. And then the Three of Pentacles is harnessing your creative endeavors and recognizing the quality of the work that you do in life. So together and what they're thinking about toward you perhaps is they, they're creating this dream of being with you and having some sort of a relationship or in, in your relate, they have, like I said, passion toward you and dreams perhaps of a life together with you. If this is romantic, like I said, this is, like I said, in the introduction, this could be a romantic relationship or a friendship, family member, someone close to your heart here that you're thinking about. And it's different for everybody here because this is a general reading. But they're planning a life around you. And this is more passion and energy here. But they're not emotional. There's a lack of emotion going on. And the ability to make a choice. So they're keeping a lot of things open here because maybe they can't decide on what they want to do. Um, and maybe this also applies into their life as well, like not being able to manifest things because they have all these dreams, but they can't make a choice. So also there may be some addiction um, within this person as well. Um, and a difficulty in moving forward with clarity. Even though we have the Ace of Swords here for this person, um, there's refinement needed here and a choice to be made. And then with this three of pentacles, you know, the, this is about 
your cre creativity, working well with others, um, having a great rep reputation. So maybe his passions or her, whoever this person is, his or her passions are um, forefront in their mind. And this is what makes you love this person. This is, you you love the passion of this person. Um, so this is really the center of who they are. Also, I'm feeling very strongly, this could be a third party situation where, you know, perhaps this person has someone else on the side or someone else in mind if this is romantic and maybe why he or she is not committing fully to you in this relationship. Um, also with the resentments here that I'm seeing that maybe, you know, they feel like you're holding something against them or um, holding them to the fire in some re regard with this ignition and passion. Let's get some more clarification here. So with the Knight of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups. So I'm feeling really that this is their energy. They're this Knight of, of Swords. Defensive, focused, driven, decisive, and fast moving. Intellectual rather than emotional in their responses and um, quick to change, quick to suddenly change their mind. Perhaps they're on, they have an idea, a dream, a vision, and they're really excited about it. And then all of a sudden that just kind of dissipates, dissipating, it dissipates and kind of fades away and then they're on to the next thing. So, and just swift, they don't, they're not taking care of their own health perhaps their own self-care or the people around them as well. It's just very swift, uncaring kind of um, movement forward without much um, emotional thought to it. And then you have the Queen of Cups. So this might be you. This has, might be the way that they perceive you, that you're emotionally balanced and stable. And they love this about you. You, um, you're not afraid to share your emotions. You're not about. You're not afraid to, you know, show, you know, even the good, the the bad, whatever you're feeling. But you can bring it all together, and you have balance and stability within your emotions, that is attractive to this person, and that that's what they love about you. And then for three of wands, we have the 10 of pentacles. So perhaps this person is seeing that their legacy, that their wealth, that um, their comfort and protection is with you in this card. Um, because with the three of wands, this is the planning for the long term. This is... Um, abundance from their choices and pride in their successes and labors, but maybe they see you as a, their success. Um, maybe they see you as their abundance, you know, maybe you harbor a safety for them when it comes to money. They come to you when they need help with money, perhaps. Um, or this could signify that this is indeed a family member um, that relies on you and relies on the legacy that you're going to leave behind. So if that's the case, you know, I feel like they're feeding you dreams, their dreams. Look, I have an idea. I'm going to put together this project. I'm going to make a movie. I'm going to make an album. I'm going to put together this band. I just need some help financially to get this off the, off the ground. Um, I need to get, you know, the sound system, you know, the, the, the tools that I need. And then once I get the tools that I need, I know that I can produce this amazing product, but you never see it happen. That's what I'm feeling with this energy here for some of you guys. 
Okay, and to clarify, the page of swords, we have the nine of swords. So there, with this clarity and brilliance that they have, underneath it, we have self-consciousness, uh, fear, um, not trusting in them, themselves, not, not necessarily that they have a low self-esteem. Um, see, they have everything they need here. They've got this beautiful elaborate bed with the amazing quilt. Um, they have everything they need, but there's this illusion of uh, not having enough, not having faith, not being able to overcome their obstacles. So it's kind of the opposite energy here of the page of swords. So they might be outwardly displaying this, like I am confident, I have brilliant ideas, I can overcome obstacles, but then they go to bed at night and they bemoan the fact that this isn't real. This is, I don't really have these brilliant ideas. I, I can't overcome my obstacles because I come to bed every night with these worries on me. So perhaps this is a facade or this part part could be an illusion for them that they don't trust in themselves enough to actually bring manifest their dreams into reality. And then with make a choice, the seven of cups, we have the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles is about lack mentality, about feeling left out in the cold. So perhaps they're not making the choice, make, not making the choice to be with you because they want to keep their options open because they don't want to feel like they're putting all their eggs in one basket, perhaps, and being left out in the cold. So they're always on the lookout for what's next. What's, what else can I um, collect toward me? Um, the Seven of cu Cups is also about procrastinating or overanalyzing to the point where you get stuck and you can't bring your manifestations into reality as well. This is making them feel like they can't do it. They don't have the means and they don't have the right mentality with this five of pentacles because maybe they're they're looking to you to help them instead of relying on their own self um ability their own of self and their ability to make their dreams come into reality here um okay and then for the three of pentacles here, I picked two cards. Two cards fell out when I did the drawing. And the high priestess and the page of wands came out. So intu the intuition that this person has is strong. You know, they do have inner knowing. And they can apply it to their projects because they have insight. They have the energy. They have the ability to plan their lives and create abundance with it. But with this dissipating energy here, they are dwelling in a lower vibration that is not helping them bring their dreams into reality and they're holding on perhaps to your relationship out of necessity and it's causing them to perhaps resent your relationship have resentments because you seem to have it all with the queen of cups because I feel this is their energy here, this Knight of Swords, and this is your energy. And this is your energy as well. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the abundance that this person is lacking and needs and wants. Um, and I, I hope 
I hope for you that you are protecting yourself in this situation. If this is resonating for you, they have ideas, they have creative creativity, they have the ability to bring their dreams into reality, but that dissipating is keeping them from attaining it. And they know how to do it. They know they have it. They have the creative passion. They have tons of passion in them. But for whatever reason, they aren't tapping into their inner knowing here. So I'm feeling this energy and it's very difficult because it's, it's a, it's feel, it feels to me like a struggle. And so I'm going to ask, I asked spirit when I drew your cards, if you guys were meant to be together, if you were meant to continue giving to this relationship and the answer that I received for you guys was no. And if you have a lot of love for this person, um, this person is taking too much from you and spirit wants you to cut the cords with them. If you can, if this is possible for you, if this is a romantic relationship, this person is using you is all I can see here is that they're using you to drain your resources. Um, and they do it without really knowing that they're doing it. So they're not devious. I do not see devious energy here. I don't see them intentionally draining you, but I do see that they have um, this attachment to you because of the things that you give them and continue to give them. Because like I said, they've created this whole story about all the wonderful things that they're gonna do and all the beautiful ideas that they have and passion that they have. But um, knowing that you're gonna help them. So Spirit says it's time to cut cords with this person and um, I'm sorry if this is a hard reading for my pile number ones. And uh, I'm just wishing you all of the best in this situation. You know what to do. You know. I want you to pray and meditate about this. Ain't that spirit is protecting you here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have given me this message. So you are protected. Know you are protected. And do and speak your voice um, with love to this person and slowly cut them out of your life if you can. And um, just by saying no, just by saying no, you don't have to say, I never want to see you again. Or You're really annoying or what, you know, you can do it in the most loving way. But when they come to you with this idea and are looking to for your help. Say, no, I don't have any more to give you. I'm sorry. And then you will see, you'll see their true, their true, per, the true person that they are by their actions. Because this person has a hard time um, be, showing their actions. You know, they're talkers. They're not giving, they're not showing you their actions. They, they, don't, they haven't given you anything real out of all of these um, times that they've come to you with their idea. Okay, I'm wishing you so much luck and light and love in the situation. And um, I really appreciate you for coming to my channel. If this resonated with you, I, I apologize once again, but if you like my channel and you feel connected and this helped you, please like and subscribe, click the notification bells and, um, I'll be seeing you again soon. I'm wishing you so the best, the very best. Love and light. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. So what are they thinking? What are they thinking of you? Just what are they thinking? And are you guys meant to be together? 
So the first card that we pulled was playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So I'm feeling like maybe you guys have gotten into this routine or a rut. Um, maybe feeling tired from all that you have been, you know, doing during the week. And um, you just fall into this place where you forget to have fun together. So if the person that's on your mind is someone that you are with right now, Spirit is saying that to step outside of the box of your everyday life, your work, all that you have to do during a day and just take time to play. And if this person isn't in your life, that um, scheduling playtime together is going to really bring you guys together. Um, so just a really fun first message for um, what are they thinking. So they want to play with you more. They want to find time to play and find the joy in things. Okay, and the next oracle card we have for you guys is complacency. So yes, I think that, you know, you guys have become complacent with one another. You're not, um, you know, like I said, if you're with this person, you're not, you know, you're complacent in your everyday life, you know, and you don't just you don't take up the reins and get up and go because it's just easier to just be and um spirit is saying you really need to spice things up and stop being complacent um you know you schedule fun perhaps you schedule something to do and you fall into this well maybe it's too much trouble um this card is a warning not to give up be aware of just coasting along in the situation um, that it, it's not what you really want. Will you never be fulfilled with unmet dreams, perhaps, with this person? Um, maybe redefining your dreams and seeing what your dreams are together. You know, whether this be a romantic situation, family member, or close friends, see what you guys can do together that you can find some playfulness in that will spark that joy and the spark of joy of doing things together and creating. Don't procrastinate anymore. Um, you know, like that feeling depleted from that work week, you know, and you just want to sit down on the couch and watch television. So I'm just finding that spirit is saying just to step away from that as often as you can. You know, I know we all need our downtime, but, you know, make make this a priority in your relationship with this person. And that's what they are thinking about you, you, you know, that you have a tendency maybe of being complacent um, and not maybe taking for granted the relationship, but it's just always going to be there. So you know, life is short, get out and play together. And then we have the number 38 or 11, which is the twin flame number. Um, so this person is thinking of you, they see you as a mysterious being and they're okay with that. They're okay with the mystery of your relationship because they find it tantalizing. They never know what's going to be next. But, um, you know, and they're not questioning things about that. So let that mystery be a part of how you bring that playfulness into this relationship here. Uh, dark matter, mystery, it's okay to have that mystery. The, all the butterflies here and it's covering her mouth, you know. Don't speak so much about this and that. You know, keep things to yourself. This person um, values this about you um, and sees you as it's like always transforming their lives with the butterflies here and the electricity and, and giving them this elect 
electric, uh, passionate uh, feeling towards you, but they adore the mystery of it. They adore the mystery of you, I'm feeling. See the light shining out of her um, solar plexus. She, she's got personal power. She stands up for what she believes. And so he, this person, he or she, Whoever, um, whatever resonates for you sees you as um, someone who stands in their personal power and has a lot of mystery about them. Uh, um, I really like that for you. Okay, let's see what your tarot cards have to say. Yes, we have the Six of Wands, the High Priestess, Awakening. Wow, I see, I see a connection here. That they're seeing you as this awakened, um, amazing person. This is the hanged man here in regular tarot. And then we have the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So there is victory. They, they, they see this in a passionate, victorious, they see this relationship with you as passionate and victorious. They're so happy that they know you. Um, they recognize you for all that you do. And like I said here, they recognize this. They see this mystery in you. They see this passion within you and they love it about you. Also that you're the high priestess, that you trust your inner knowing, um, that you're awakened here. Um, so this pause, this awakening, this pause for reflection and insight. Um, they love how you see things from a different perspective. And that's the mystery here they're seeing in you. And you're giving. You're full of, you're romantic and flirtatious. Um, you can be fickle sometimes, but that also is adding to the mystery of who you are. Like they can't quite figure you out. Um, that you have this love of poetry. You're um, spiritually awakened. You're intuitive. Um, but there's also some balance that is necessary in here. And that probably plays into the complicity here of, you know, not being able to um, put down probably work when you're at home or you're always thinking of, you know, your job, your job, your work, and you're bringing this into the relationship. And so they're saying that, you know, they would like it if you were more balanced and more present when you guys are together, perhaps. Um, so they see this passionate, victorious, awakened, uh, amazing, intuitive, mysterious person. And they love that about you. But it's time to step out of the box of the old routines. Going out and exploring and finding new adventures together is going to be so beneficial to you and reignite something within this relationship with all this ignition here this victory these uh success and just vibrant you know they see you as intellectual um successful like you're just the whole package for this person i'm seeing okay and then what else do we have to clarify the six of wands, we have the knight of wands, so much passion, the high priestess and the magician, you can manifest your reality. Page of cups and the awakening, you're fresh, exciting, loving, you know, you're in control of your emotions and showing that to others, showing your true self without any fears. Um, with the Knight of Cups here, uh, you can bring things into balance with creating things and you work well with others. Uh, also for some, this could be like a third party situation here. Like maybe someone has let another person into um, the relationship. Uh, there could be something hidden here uh but 
something hidden, something mysterious, but there could be a third party situation here because things have gotten so complacent with this relationship that they're looking for a spark of um, this romantic and flirtatious uh, thing that they're looking for. So they really want it from you, but they're not receiving it. So this third party may be fulfilling a little bit of this for your person is what I'm feeling. And so, you know, you might want to open that discussion up and talk about it. If you at all have this feeling, this inner knowing, um, perhaps, and just a, a feeling, but really, this this person, your person, will easily lay this down because this is fickle energy. This is just because they're maybe a little bored here. There, that's complacency and boredom. Like there's no playing. It's all work and no play here. Um, so this is perhaps a third party situation is out of boredom. I'm feeling. And because, you know, you're always so busy working on your projects, you know, they get left aside a lot, I'm feeling. Let's see. Yes. So with the Knight of Swords, there's a feeling of being not taken care of. You're moving so fast that you don't see them sometimes. So a balance is needed here for you. And um, so I'm feeling that strongly for some of my pile twos. But this is an easy fix, I feel, because there's so much love, there's so much respect, there's, the, this person sees you for who you truly are, um, but they're feeling a little bit, um, you know, a little bit left out, not out in the cold, you're not leaving them out in the cold, but they're feeling a little bit, you know, like they're, they're not getting enough attention and they're, they're seeking that passion, that passion again, the, um, being swept off their feet, love, 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 um, that feeling of like, you are, you're making my heart flutter here. And, um, so, and they want you to balance things more, like, when you're with them, to pay attention to them, to make them feel like, you know, they're every, they're your everything. And uh, they're feeling like a little bit sorted and rushed here. There's, there's a panic in um, the Knight of Swords horse and he's just going full speed ahead without paying any attention. And, um, you know, and this is also kind of, with, he's a juggler here with the two of pentacles and maybe maybe they're trying to seek your attention here they're seeking your attention for some of my pile twos and if it's not you juggling so much and then forgetting to pay attention to them they're dressed as a clown they're juggling they're doing all that they can to get your attention here and um so you know, make sure that you include them, make them feel your passion for them because they know you're passionate. The Knight of Wands is um, very passionate. He's got adventure and f loves freedom and traveler, very Sagittarius energy here. Um, able to gain wider perspective and here with the, the per awakening is, you know, you you see you have the perspective taking that other perspective this fresh um love there's so much love in you budding within you um but they they feel like they're not getting it they're not getting quite what they need here for some of my pile twos for others uh they are you guys are working well together and working on art pro creative projects um, something that is your passion that you guys are working together on, but still for most of you guys, this person is trying to get your attention more, um, in a romantic way. Uh, so 
definitely something for you guys to work on. Playfulness is that is the key. This the first card is the key for success for you guys. So with these cards alone, I'm feeling strongly that you are meant to be together. But let's see what spirit has to say for you. I pulled the sun and the sun, as you know, is ultimate happiness. You guys are have the ultimate happiness when you're together and you guys are on the same wavelength. Um, you have optimism and the, your true heart's desire is this person. So make sure that you're not taking uh, for granted the situation and put some play and some passion back into this relationship, whatever it is, whether it is a friendship, a romance, um, husband, wife, whatever that is for you, a, a really good friend, uh, they want more attention from you. And that's, uh, and don't be complacent complacent just get out there and do fun things together it's going to heal your love and make it that solid happy optimistic um and that your heart's desire so i'm wishing you all the best pile number twos this was such a beautiful reading and such a cheerful um, love and powerful love between you two, whether, whatever that relationship connection is, I'm just feeling a lot of love there. So I hope you guys get on the right track and come into the sun. I'm wishing you so much love and light. Please like, and subscribe. If you connected with my reading, hit the notification bells and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading. What are they thinking? That is why we are here today to figure out what your person is thinking about you, um, just in general. And if you guys are meant to be together, whether or not if this is a passionate relationship, romantic, friendship, uh, sibling, parents, whatever relationship, this is for you. Um, but with this card <laughs> And this image here, I'm thinking this is more of a passionate, a romantic relationship here. And yes, we have passion. So they have passion for you. You are magnetic and seductive to them. And they see it all around you. Uh, and you are their passion. So amazing. That's really good for you if this is what you're looking for in a person. Um, let's see what else Spirit has to say. Okay. So we have Discovery here. This is a Root Chakra card. And so the energy of the Root Chakra is about um, who we are. Like uh, the, our abundance, our family roots, our karma, stuff like that comes from the Root Chakra. And with Discovery... We have um, this, this man who has so much love, but it could be a woman too, but it's not being reciprocated to that person now. So, and the love is for this flower, this petunia here. And the discovery is this the pink man realizes that the petunia can is incapable of receiving love so he go he he's in a self-discovery mode here and realizes the love that he has for petunia even though it can't be reciprocated um, it has opened his heart to love and to know what true love is really about so with this card I'm feeling perhaps that maybe you have broken up with this person because, you know, of things that have happened in the past. Um, every, and it seems like he's this person, let it, let it be a woman, a man, whatever this is that resonates for you is trying to recapture the past, but it no longer fits your situation. So this 
this passion that he has, or she, the passion that your person has for you is something of the past. Um, it no longer fits. Um, their struggle in a difficult situation, seeking to keep something that is far less than what is deserved for either you or this person that you're thinking of. Or what are they thinking though? So they are thinking that they deserve your love and they're not getting it, but at the same time, they're hanging on to the past. Um, so, and there's a, there's a lack of commitment as well with the discovery card. So either that is you, they're feeling this about you, or it, this is what is going on in their mind. So whatever fits for you, since this is a general reading, it could go both ways. And then we have the number 39, which is the number is also number 12. And we have gravity. And this is about being grounded. So they are thinking that they need to be more grounded. They're like flying high in this emotional state. Or they feel like you need to be more grounded. Um, like I said, this can go either way because of this discovery here. This is either you are incapable of loving this person anymore or the other way around. Um, but like I said, they are, do feel passionate about you. Um, so groundedness is just being in reality, being strongly based in reality, feeling like you have balance and your two feet on the ground Getting out in nature can really help here. So you might need groundedness or you may they might see you as being very grounded. Like I said, there's kind of like two ways this is going here. So let's, let's see what Spirit says about your cards here. So we have the Hermit. So there is some going within here for you. And then we have the Four of wands which is celebration um victory uh prosperity peace contentment in your personal life and we have the page of pentacles so they see you as being scholarly dependable um mischievous uh new opportunities they see maybe a new opportunity happening for you within your career um, you're studying new things, balance, and this is the balance that I'm saying here is like self-control, patience, and balance, um, being able to compromise, blending the ideas that you guys have together. Um, and then we have the lovers here. So there is passion. There's love. This person is feeling a lot of love for you. They see you as their other half because this is, you know, this is a celebration. They see you as their soulmate or um, twin flame or they want to marry you. They, they see you as being someone they want to marry. Maybe you were married and then you got divorced or you're separated, but they still see you in this light. They've been going within and spending time in solitude and um, really in a, on a spiritual path of self-discovery here. And um, so let us, let's see what else Spirit has to say about this. So we have the Knight of Swords with the Hermit. So they may have been very sporadic, defensive, quick moving without a lot of emotional thought about what he's doing. They're only on this intellectual plane of being, but they're stepping away. They're stepping away from that. And they're really trying to figure out themselves. They, um, that, like I said, self-discovery. They're, they're going within. They're spending time going within and really understanding why they were that energy of the Knight of Swords. Okay, and then we have the world. So there is a completion here of a cycle, a phase in your life. Um, perhaps it was the getting separated from this person. 
Um, or perhaps you've been through a difficult cycle with this person. And with this self-reflection, you guys are coming back into that place of celebration and um, peace and contentment with your personal lives together. So like I said, this can go both ways here. But they do see you as someone they want to be with, their, their soulmate, their twin flame. You guys have been through a cycle, but this cycle is complete. Whether that be a, a cycle of leaving each other or a cycle of coming back into union with this person. But they see you as being, you know, you're on this new path of new prosperity and you've let go of your fears you've got back out in the world you've got maybe a new job you're learning something new that's going to bring you prosperity and um you know there's a lot of healing going on with this person and they want to heal with you they want to heal with you but you know this is the seven of wands here with this so they see perhaps you um, as being a non-conforming person you stand up for yourself and your individuality taking the high road here so with their new success and your new prosperity you may be kind of shutting them out I mean taking the high road you're not getting involved in drama and then I said with the rabbit here, the rabbit is fears. You've let go of your fears. You know, you're defending yourself. Um, you're standing up for what you believe in. Uh, so people are here saying, no, you know, the way you're doing it is wrong. But you're really, you're standing up for what, and that this person, your person that you, what are they thinking about you? They seeing that you're fighting a good battle. They admire you. Like they said, they still see you as um, someone they want to be with and marry they're your their soulmate and then we have the six of pentacles so you know you, there's balance here self-control giving and then the balance here with the with the um so a lot of a balance going on here so they see you as balanced Balanced in the way that you give to others. Balanced in the way that you care for yourself. Um, and they admire this in you as well. So you have self-control. You have the, the power to be and see diversity and integrate it into your life here. Um, you... You don't see these people as being outside of society because you're a nonconformist. You just see these people and you want to help them. You want to help them stand up. You want to help them heal. You want to give them what they need. And he, this person is seeing this in you and wants to ha be included in that with this lovers here. Let's see what else this is. Justice, yes, wants to be included wants this balance to be in their lives, wants to be within your relationship, um, to be honest and true. Um, and this person desires this greatly of you, wants justice. She wants justice. Whoever this person is wants this truth to come out and wants it to be in this loving way. They want to re reconcile with you. If you guys are separated, um, if, if you aren't separated or you're going through a difficult time, this still applies. But I'm feeling like you don't really reciprocate the way this person feels. Like you kind of are feeling done with them. Is what I'm feeling, but they want the truth. They want the truth of how you feel and maybe to finally let them go if you don't want this relationship anymore because they really are holding out hope and they want they want you. They want you in their lives. 
They want to marry you. And they see you as their soulmate. But I'm feeling like with this discovery, and this grounding here, you know, she's tired. She's like holding, the butterflies are holding her up. And she's so grounded into the ground that, you know, and tired of things that she just doesn't want to deal with this situation any longer because this person that is thinking of what are they thinking this person I think is depicted by the knight of swords they have had erratic um ener energy and forward um thinking that is not really it has this their their intellectual but they don't do things with clarity of emotion and maybe they have just worn you down because this this knight of swords doesn't take care of himself he doesn't think about the consequences of the actions that he takes but, but what he's saying is with or her what your person is saying is i'm just feeling very masculine energy here is that i have gone within i have done the work i'm working on this and I really want to be with you. But the question is, do you want to be with them? And that's really the question. Are you guys meant to be together? And I pulled this card and it is a, my blank card for my yes and no pile. I also have maybes and other things in there. But I pulled the blank card for you guys, which means really to me that the ball is in your court. The ball is in your court with this person. You make up your mind, you, whether or not this person is going to be in your life anymore. And, but what I'm seeing here is that this person that is thinking what they're thinking and that you're thinking of, this person that you're thinking of, um, really loves you and wants you to be in their life. They have a lot of passion for you. They, they want to be married to you. Uh, they want justice in their love for you. They've gone within and done the work. They've done some self-discovery. And they're coming out of this Knight of Swords. I just want to pull one more card. Can you clarify the Hermit and the Knight of Swords? What is this person coming into now? That they've done their self-discovery spirit. The Fool. See, they're having a new beginning. They're having a new beginning. They're not afraid of uh, where they have been before. And they're ready to move forward in their new beginning. And they want to prove this to you. They want to prove it to you. So I that's all I'm seeing for you right now. I'm wishing you so much love and light in this decision with this person. And if you're going to bring them back to you and, and to your love and, and rekindle or to let this go. But they want a new beginning. They're ready for a new beginning. They are ready to have a new beginning with you. But this ball is in your court here. You have to make this decision. Yes. No. I don't know. It still needs work. I still need work. I still need healing. Give to myself. Self-love. Perhaps. Um, can you love this person again? Can you let them in again? Uh, are you too tired? Too weary? That you need butterflies to lift you up again? So that's, that's your decision. I am uh, sending you so much luck, love, and wisdom in this situation. If you like my message and this resonates for you, please like and subscribe. Hit the subscription bell. And um, I'll be seeing you soon. Sending you lots of love and light. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 4, and welcome to your reading of what are they thinking of you or what are they thinking in general. Um, so we have this peace dove here. It's really pure white. Um, let's see what the card has to say. Okay. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay, and then we have isolation. And this is connected to the throat chakra. 
and bravery with oceans. Okay, so what I'm seeing here for your person and what they're thinking of you is um, I feel like there has been a breakup between you or some distance here. Um, there is a higher purpose for that distance. Um, and through that turmoil that you're feeling right now, being separated, there will soon be a blessing for you guys. Um, this is how they are seeing the situation between you guys is that we have this isolation. Perhaps, I know we've all been going through this isolation, but I feel like your person feels like you're taking it a bit too far and wants you to break out of this isolation now um, and take your part in the world again. Uh, there needs to be some communication about this situation as well with this being in the throat chakra. And Spirit is saying it's time to be brave and step outside of your comfort zone right now. So your person really wants you to come back into the world, start embracing your path. And I, I think, I feel like they really wanna do this with you. Um, we have a lot of blue, a lot of communication. Com communicate your fears to this person because they want you to come out of hiding now. They want you to be a part of their life. Let's get some more clarification with some tarot. We have the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, a lot of eights here. We have the Page of Swords, I pulled some extra cards for you. The Magician. So let's move some of these over here. So we have some more room. The Magician. Death with Release. And the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this person with the with the page of swords or being with the ace of swords being in the middle here there is new clarity in this relationship um new new uh ideas clarity um overcoming obstacles here so this person really wants you to overcome these obstacles that you've put up, perhaps a wall, perhaps um, over intellectualizing your isolation and coming um, out of that into your new beginning of uh, and walking away from, you know, this isolation. You need to get out, going on a spiritual quest, making these big life changes, um, change of your priorities and leaving home so this person strongly wants you to get back out in the world and be a part of their life uh and then we have okay and then this is i'm feeling like your energy here um they see you as this you have logic and perspective and insight um, but wants you to step out and challenge yourself and get back out into the world. But you, you, you're feeling overwhelmed here. There's too much going on, but this is positive stuff here. This is really positive. Um, changes are happening in your life and you have the opportunity to get out back into the world and get some of this stuff done. Just try not to feel like you have too much because, and take it one baby step at a time. Don't push yourself too hard um, because you don't want to get overwhelmed over these positive changes that are happening in your life. You have the magician too. So um, this person sees this in you, the, your ability to manifest and you're going to be releasing, you're going to be 
that this new beginning is happening for you in your life and they they want you to see that you can manifest this and also with the nine of wands over here you have this protection going on um but your angels are here helping you and it's time to get out and use your voice and use your personal power to help change the world. There's activism in this, animal rights, environmental activism that spirit wants you to get out and start working on. This person sees this in you and wants you to expand yourself. So this is what I'm seeing mostly, most strongly for you is that you have been, um, you have gone within and I, this time has called for that isolation, but it's time for you to get out because they feel like you have been hidden away from them for too long. Um, there is blessings here waiting for you if you can step outside of your comfort zone. And this person is strongly feels this for you and is waiting for you to step up to the plate and and start manifesting and opening yourself up to the new beginnings that are now open to you in the world. Getting out of that, um, your cocoon, you're transforming and then into the butterfly. And then we have the page of pentacles to clarify, the knight of cups, the queen of cups, judgment, Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Lovers. Okay, so this is a joy of learning and emotional stability and passion here. Um, then we have another, a new beginning. Again, strong new beginnings here, an awakening of sorts. And with Magician, you have so many options here. And I've seen these, these options here for you here. There's too much going on, but they're positive options. Protect what you have by getting back into the game. And with this release, this death, this is death in the regular tarot. This death is, is a rebirth for you to step into your new beginning here. Um, you may feel like you're in between a rock and a hard place with the two of swords um, because you know you want to get back out in the world but then you have fears based in this and you can't see where the right path is because you do have so many options and so many choices but spirit here and this person that is thinking of you sees that you have work to do out in the world and stepping outside the box, being brave, protecting what you have and not letting it slip away because you know, you, you have a mission on earth of activism, of say, helping to save this planet and put it back on track for where it really needs to be with self love, with the collaboration between you two um, there is beauty in that and they love you. They love you. They want to see you be at your best and step outside back into the world to manifest your new reality that is out there waiting for you. Um, so don't be overwhelmed. You know, we have, um, the page of swords, which is being in your intellect, right? Um, tapping into your clarity here and then you're going to be learning new things this is the opportunity to get out learn new things um, be excited with, and have a lot of passion about bringing these things into fruition um, the knight of cups is, again is more passion here um, he's the messenger of love communicating his deepest feelings without fear and so is the queen of cups so I'm seeing this as, you know, maybe you're younger and they're older, a little bit more emotionally stable here. Um, you are, or this is them and this is you, kind of this um, passionate relationship uh, coming together 
of like-minded people with emotional strengths, both of you. Um, renewing your passion out in the world. Um, a reintroduction into the world with this Knight of Cups. And this is two as well, you know, this this Eight of, of Wands is changes and the ability to go out in the world and move forward. So this is what spirit and this person wants of you. Um, this Queen of Cups, you know, he's this, and with the Eight of Cups, there's a spiritual quest, you know, getting to know yourself as you've been doing that work. And now it's time to leave home and go out and express yourself in the world. You have emotional stability here with the Queen of Cups, being able to express herself, valuing your feelings, nurturing and caring. Um, even when it's painful emotions, you know, you can really balance that and honor those things. And this is more of a painful thing, you know, like this is going to be hard work, but you have to go and you have to get out, walk, open the door and walk out. You're on a quest. You need to get out into the world because we have strong, strong new beginnings here of clarity, power, um, stepping into your power and being awakened and then you can manifest all that you desire here sometimes this is about having too many options and not being able to actually manifest but with this and the magician and the you can manifest all that you desire here but you have to step out you have to be brave and step out and then we have this the endings and new beginnings the release of situations or people that are holding you back and the situations that are holding you back I think are yourself that this is yourself through fear of being out in the world and rightfully so you know and you've been isolating yourself but you're transforming and you just have to step outside of yourself and you know you're like I said you're feeling like you're in a rock and between a rock and a hard place with the two of swords you are um you know, you can't see the way, but you have a choice to make. You know, either continue your isolation or get out into the world. Spirit and your and this person that obviously loves you and sees all your potential is um, is wanting you to choose the path of bravery and getting out. Um, you have to trust that things are going to be okay. You know, trust everything is going to be okay. Um, you've protected what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. And, and then getting in. And then this is, this is your passion together. You have this together with the lovers. You know, you're collaborating together. They want to collaborate with you, your person wants to collaborate with you and have this strong connection, this love connection with you. Also, you know, loving yourself enough to get back out and do the things that you're meant to be doing. Okay, so your, your person, I see a lot of love. I see um, that they see you for who you are and want you to get out and move forward. Um, step outside your comfort zone and move away from isolation and so I have this card it's it's challenge old ways of thinking and this is whether or not you guys are meant to be together I do think that you're meant to be together and whatever whatever this relationship is be it romantic be it you know whatever resonates for you whoever you're thinking about challenge your old ways of thinking in this relationship and open yourself up you know to bravery um this is really a call to um into your transformation and rebirth your awakening here um challenge old ways of thinking is very hierophant um energy here where it's just challenge like stepping outside of traditional ways of thinking that aren't 
serving you and that sacred connection to the divine. So by changing your perspective and opening yourself up to this awakening and these new beginnings, moving forward and working on the things that you are passionate about that'll help change the world. You just need to be brave and this person is cheering you on. I feel it so strongly for you guys. All right, so this is all I'm seeing for your reading right now. I'm wishing you so much love and light. And if you like my mess my message here and it resonates for you, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell so that you can get more messages for from me. Okay, I'm like I said, I'm wishing you so much luck. Get out there, step outside the box, be brave. Bye-bye.